Good morning. Happy Tuesday here. Okay. Uh, you've been hearing it on the news. You've been seeing it. You, if you're in the market to purchase a house, it's been extremely frustrating. I get it. Uh, I've talked about this before. I'm going to keep on talking about it because this is going to be the strategy and, and the issue that we all deal with if you're in the real estate market for the next forever future uh, right now. We're so low on inventory right now. We're down 30% year over year. That's a huge numbers. And remember, builders did not really build last year as they normally do because of COVID. Everything stopped. And now on top of that, you got lumber now that's triple the amount of cost, which is uh, amazing to even think about it. Just go to Lowe's, go to Home Depot, pick up a two by four and remember what, you know, what that price was a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. It is triple the amount of cost. So it's costing per house an, an average of $24,000 to build a new house. Why do I say that? Because when the builders start ramping up right now, it's going to take some time to, to have more inventory on the market, but it's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight. So when you get inventory that's 30% down year over year, plus anything under 250000 that's listed for, two, for a house, the inventory is down even uh, 40%. It's over 40%. That is crazy. Now, I had somebody ask me last week what the difference was, or two weeks ago, what the difference was when we had the crash 13 years ago compared to what we have now. It's night and day, okay? It's not even, you can't even throw it in the same thing because back in the day, uh, I've been doing this 19 years, seems like 91 years. I said 18 the last a couple weeks ago, but it's actually about 19. So what basically what happened back in the day when we had the crash, we had multiple homes and everybody could get uh, pre-approved. Everybody, not just for one home, probably you know for two. You had no income, no assets, you had all that other stuff, okay? So yeah, people who cannot afford a house get a house, and they didn't really, you know, couldn't really uh, take the blows from the economy going going the other way, and of course they didn't have the money to pay for their house. So there you go. Um, so and all the all the other stuff that went with it. So the cool thing is, you know, when you have a house listed, it's going to take about twenty days if it's priced right, less than ten days, or within the same day because. Uh, there, there's, there's such a high demand for these homes. So what we have is a tool to help you buyers, help you realtors, help you sellers. If, if you list your house and now you have to overbid on that house, a bid above the listing price, okay, which is the norm now, by the way, okay, it's going to be very difficult to, to get a house. First time home buyers are out there, they just can't find a house. And, and a lot of them have to get something below $250,000, just not there. So if you're trying to bid above asking price, let's say uh, $200,000 or, or $250,000 list price, and you have to go $10,000 higher than that, look at the video down below in the comment section. I'm going to show you in about a minute, 45 seconds, what your return is going to be five years from now. Okay. Five years from now. So if you had to do that, and yes, it's a little unsettling, but if you had to do that, what does that look like with general average appreciation year over year for the next five years. Okay, check out that video. Let me know if you got any questions. Comment down below. Shoot me a private message or text me at 423-262-9229. Okay, hope this helps. Uh, let me know what you think about that tool. It's called uh, Bid Over Asking Price. Uh, it's awesome. Definitely, definitely. If you need something, just shoot me a message. I can get it over to you within seconds. Okay, talk to you soon. Have a great, great Tuesday. Bye-bye.